with West Virginia University Athletic Director Ren Baker. I'm Tony Caridi at Big 12 Media Day. So, this is your first stint here as West Virginia's Athletic Director. However, you know the state of Texas very well. What's it like to come in and see this, this, the spectrum of all of this? Well, the first thing I say is hot. I mean, <laughs> so uh, when we arrived with the players and we stepped off the plane yesterday, they were like, oh my God, what is this? I was like, this is summer in Texas, man. Like this is not, I think we, we left dinner last night when we took them to a steakhouse. It was 96 at 9.30 at night. And, uh, but uh, it's great to be uh, back. So many familiar faces. Um, you know, for me, I know a lot of people in the league, a lot of the media members grew up in this area. Um, certainly lived here for six and a half years, but to be able to come back with, um, with uh, our student athletes and, and uh, Coach Brown and, and be able to um, really get to hang out and do some things uh, here, it's, it's been really fun. Neil has had his time at the podium. He addressed West Virginia's predicted finish in the preseason media poll as the athletic director, as the as a former head coach as well. What does that do as far as motivation goes? I'll tell you, for me, I always liked for people to feel slight. I like to feel slighted. Um, I think that's great. Uh, gives you a little extra juice. I can tell you our kids are not happy about it. We don't think that's uh, where, where we are from a talent perspective, from an experience perspective. We're not going to finish last. And, and I, there's a resolve in our program and around it. And, and, and I hope across the state, I hope people are intending to show up, uh, fight with us, fight, uh, fight for us, and, le and let's prove everybody wrong together. There's lots of people who like to question uh, West Virginia and WVU. Uh, so uh, let's, let's show our resolve and, and prove ourselves. Conference-wise, the first year that we've got the four newcomers, so now for this year we'll be at 14. Do you have a feel, do you get a sense as to what the next iteration of this league is going to be? I'm really excited about it. I mean, when you look at um, – for us personally, being able to get some Eastern-based, uh, just people, some teams in our same time zone like that alone will be will be helpful. But certainly the Cincinnati rivalry, bring in BYU that has a lot of tradition and a national uh, following. Um, but I also love the addition of UCF. So to use a uh, a, a culture type term, UCF is new money. You know, like they're they're uh, they're really late. Uh, Johnny come lately, and um, you know they're uh, but they're they're creative, they're innovative, they're thoughtful in the way they do things. Um, they push you know the boundaries. A team like that coming into a tradition rich conference like this, I think, is very good for the league. It'll it'll challenge all of us. Um, you know, a, a program like ours, we need to be doing a lot of creative and innovative things, and and uh, and so I think the makeup of the league is really strong going forward. Um, there are some opportunities for potential expansion, and you've heard the commissioner talk a lot about that. Um, we're open for business, as he as he says. But I also think the membership that we currently have uh, heading into the future is going to be really strong, and I think the future is really bright. Mountaineer Athletic Director Ren Baker, appreciate the time. Hey, thank you so much. Let's go Mountaineers.